going on guys? Sean Cuts here here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of my tools and what I use on a daily basis. Uh, real quick, I wanted to show you guys the shop before we get to my station, and I will show you guys what I use. So here's the shop. All right guys, so we just closed down. Uh, everybody's gone, but I had them leave everything on so you guys could see it. We have nine chairs now, so four on this side, four on this side, and uh, I'm in the back. We uh, These are custom illusion cakes. You guys don't know about illusion check them out all these capes are different illusion capes i think we probably have the most capes uh in the whole out of any of the shops out there uh, so here's all our stations i'm all, all the way back here in the back you guys can see we'll go into my tools and see what i'm working with All right guys, back at it with another video. I wanted to stay late tonight and give you guys a video breakdown of the tools I use on the daily. Uh, a couple of you guys were asking. That's my air compressor running. Uh, if you guys pay attention to my videos, you'll hear it in there throughout. So I'm gonna go into the setup and I'll break down what I use uh, on a daily basis. So you guys can see this is a 245 power mat. It's gonna wirelessly charge your clippers. These power clips right here are what uh, allow them to charge. That's a, that's a confusion a lot of times when we're selling the mat. Uh, you do have to buy the mat. These two uh, spots right here are expansion pads, so it's gonna come with this one, and this enabled the clips for each clipper is what allows the clipper itself to charge. So when I run it dead, or uh, when I cut ahead and run the battery low a little bit, as soon as I set it, make contact to the wireless charger, you guys can see the lights start coming on. So this mat, uh, man, let me tell you guys, once I got it, I didn't have to plug cords in. You see these two clippers right here? Uh, I have to plug in still. Such a hassle. So I can't wait to get the clips for these. Um, but for right now, I have my Babyliss and my Wall Senior uh, hooked up to it. So we'll go into my tools specifically. Uh, this guy's is the Babyliss Pro. This is the Hawk Vision uh, edition of the Gold FX. This is a Wall Senior with the bevel blade. Uh, I also have the Omnicord uh, ceramic cutting blade on it. Uh, and this is the Matt Gifted Hands Stay Gifted. Uh, clipper cover, so you guys make sure you go check that out. Uh, and again, this is a 245 power clip that allows me to charge this wireless. This guy's best trimmer in the game. This is the Babyliss Pro Gold Skeleton FX. Um, these, these are set pretty sharp, but not too sharp. And guys, these things hit. Uh, I actually just left Tampa and Lido's skeletons were so sharp. I'm actually gonna reset these and uh, get them to hit a little bit more, but they do work great. Uh, and for my kids, I use just a regular Slimline Pro. Uh, this is gapped, not very sharp, so I can use this for kids. This is what I use for uh, my ball guideline and uh, to work out my ball guideline. Uh, for, to get to skin, I use the Babyliss Gold FX Shaver, and uh, this is the dual, dual head shaver. Uh, they do make the, the silver, I believe, in a single foil, um, but I just if I just wanna use one foil, I'll just turn it this way and use the one. And when I'm taking bulk out, I'm gonna use the, the two shaders right here. Let's see. I do have this slim line. I just bought a gold gold uh, blade for it. Uh, this body is, is black and gold. That's why I got it to match my stuff. But I think the motor in here is weak. So I'm actually, at some point, I'm gonna cha change out the uh, silver motor into my black one. Uh, so I can have this uh, for my kids trimmer. And of course, it matches the rest of my setup a lot better. Man, that air compressor is wearing it out back there. Uh, let's see, got a Dyson blow dryer. If you guys watch my rock, paper, scissors, I got my eliminate sticker on it. I had it, didn't know what I wanted to do with it, so I threw it on my Dyson. Guys, if you, uh, this is a lot to invest in a blow dryer, but definitely the best blow dryer I've used. Uh, it, it's gonna get the hair dry real quick. Uh, the flow is great on it. Uh, so definitely worth the investment if you guys are looking for a good blow dryer. Of course, got the 245 shave gel. Uh, I use this on the daily. If you guys watched, I'm doing a thousand subscriber giveaway with the orange, my color enhancement card and a bottle of no drip. So this will be going to one of you guys soon. Uh, but I use this on the daily uh, for lineups. It's good for this nozzle to put uh, shade gel down in the designs that I do. Uh, we'll move on from there. Uh, the combs I use, this is a Kenny Duncan ceramic white flat top comb. It's a YS part. Let's see if I can see the number. I don't know if the number's on it. I've used it a lot, so 
Uh, this is a wide spark comb. If you guys don't use these, I can't really tell you why they're so good, but I can tell you compared to another one, these combs are very good. So definitely try that out. YS Park, uh, you can look them up on Amazon. I believe they have a website, but it is, I think they're Japanese. So I don't know if you get them from overseas or not. Uh, this is a regular old baby brush from Sally's. And this is the Andis Clipper brush. I think Babyliss makes these as well now. So uh, no, no difference on these brushes. I just picked, I kind of like this handle better. It's a little bigger, uh, but I use this one sometimes as well. Going to my shears. Guys, I got a lot of money invested in shears. Um, these are all Hattori Hanzo shears. Uh, I do want to try some Mizutani's out at some point. I won't tell you you have to do these, but I will say they work very well and Hanzo does have a payment plan. So if you guys are on a budget, no credit check, you guys can get Hanzo's. These are the HHB. Um, these are made for dry and wet hair. Uh, these are a six and a half uh, regular cutting shear. This is what I use for the bulk of my work. I do have the seven and a half. Uh, and these are this is a HH8. This is a 42 thinning shear, just your traditional thinning shear, guys. Um, and again, uh, Hattori Hanzo. Um, these are what I use for most of my debulking or blending. And then these guys are the VT1. This is kind of Hanzo's uh, popular new shear. It's gonna be a skip tooth. I think it has 13 teeth. And this is gonna give you kind of a point cut when you go in and uh, chunk that out. Let's see what else we got here. Guys, this is my color enhancement card. If you haven't seen it, this is gonna make my uh, application of color enhancement much easier. Uh, it's got the 90 for this corner. Uh, you can put this 90 up in the top corner. And then of course the curve for the C cup, you just hold it and make one spray. Uh, my styling products, we got 245 Victory Fiber Royal Wax and the rarest of rare indestructible clay running low on that. So hope it comes back out soon. Uh, but that's what I used to style on a daily basis. Man, I'm telling you that air compressor never goes off that much. I don't know why it is. Uh, I do use Elegance gloves. Really, it's just uh, the ease of getting these. I can order them off the website um, and get them in. So this is just where I've been getting my gloves from. Uh, nothing, nothing great about them in particular. I do use the wall premium guards. Um, you guys can see right here. And it's cool care. Uh, I don't know if there's much else I need to show you guys. On the daily, guys, I record my tutorials with this camera over here. This is a Canon M50. And on this side, this is my iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max. Shoots 4K, it's crazy. Anyway, guys, that's a breakdown of my tools. Uh, if you guys got any questions about what I use or how any of it works, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, I got another tutorial coming out Monday uh, on Tim that we just talked about that won the uh, Rock, Paper, Scissor Challenge. So make sure you guys check that out. See you guys next time.